Them's motherfucking pretzels. And you know what them fucking pretzels say? Rockets! What? Rockets! Records. Hello and welcome to Records, where we review records. Good Morning Restrained, we're two months late. Yep. Good Morning Restrained is an album by Magna Carta Cartel, and they are virtually unknown. Yeah. The only reason I know them is because I was looking up uh, stuff about the band Ghost, and their name came up, and I was like, who's that? Because that's an interesting name, because the Magna Carta who's was a document that? signed by Richard III <laughs> in the 14th century. Was it? Yeah, and it gave uh, basically the people of England rights, and uh, that's all I knew. I was like, "What's that? Cartel? Mexican drug cartel?" I gave this album a listen. Uh, I liked it. I guess I should. Something on Wikipedia said that this album was about, you know, if if like these songs are. Uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> These songs, movie soundtracks for movies that ain't been made yeah, these yet. Yeah, the songs are the soundtracks for movies that haven't been made yet. I don't know if that's actually the truth. Wikipedia's not a reliable like source. Like, like there, there's not even a Wikipedia page about this something thing. I just read that somewhere. Wikipedia's not a reliable source. Yeah, I know, but I read it somewhere. Can't, and you that, can't cite it on work cited. Well, that's that's how I chose to interpret the album because somebody said that, and that's how I did it. Let's get started, okay? That it's already too late. Oh, you have these written down? Yeah, mm -hmm. always. The first, uh, the first two is correct. The second two is wrong. No point. You gave Aww. it no point because I spelled it wrong? No, uh, I actually wrote, RJ says repetition is intentional. Okay, but it's too long. I hated this song. I thought that stuff was like a story, so I did it like a story. So when this start, you know, because like whenever I listen to something, I'm like sleeping in my bed. Yeah, well. And like, I, like, when I, when I like wrote down all, oh. <laughs> That can't go. <laughs> <laughs> when I don't look at my notes, boy. I'm not. You clearly look at my not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking right at if then on my other wall. Okay. okay. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> when I listen to the song, I think I'm like, like sitting like outside, staring up at the stars. This is the one that's like boom, 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 boom. It's, it's mostly an all instrumental. Yeah, this album is very instrumental. And it's like post-rock, I guess. Which isn't really something I listen to. I don't really listen to a lot of instrumental. Well, it's like post-rock, so it's more artful rock. Yeah. So there's a lot of art behind it, I guess. Yeah. But I, I just, I, you know, I imagine I'm looking at the stars. It says Spacey looking up at space. No point. Point. Uh, the next song is This Time. I said I enjoyed it. Uh, it was somber, mellow background music, and I said it feels like a sad drug scene or a montage of domestic violence. Oh, I said it felt like I was living in between dimensions. Oh yeah, I guess. I and I give it a point. Oh, I also gave it a point. Yeah. It also just made me want to listen to maybe this time his day from Cabaret. Am I right? I don't know that song. A, make him touch. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, next is Sunset Liz. I said I enjoyed it. A bit repetitive, though. And I also said I enjoyed the repeated riff, which goes like one one. No, it's like one one two two one two three. You know what I'm saying? Like ding ding dong 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 dong. dong. I thought that was neat. Uh, but they do they do repeat it at least seventy seven times in this song. Yep, yep. It's 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 intentional. But I did give it a point. I said it felt like the first song. It feels like like I'm looking up at the stars, you know, thinking about space, but in the desert, like a western. <laughs> because it's sun. Well, no, it just feels like a western movie, like I like guess. I'm in the 1800s in the wild, wild west, looking up at the stars, pondering my life. Also, still, because I, I think think of this like a story. I'm still living in between dimensions. So. Yeah, and Salma so, Hayek's there. No, I get the point. I also gave it a point. Next, attending midnight screen. I said this is the end credits of a horror movie, and I said it was a good moodscape. Uh, it creates an excellent atmosphere. I gave it a point. At this point, I'm living in between dimensions. Still, and it, yeah, I'm still in the western part. Yeah, and here's the thing: you're you're consistently <laughs> living in between the dimensions because it all sounds the same. 
No, it's just part of the story. I eventually get out of living in between dimensions. You'll see. I'm falling morning, asleep at the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm falling asleep at the end of edge of a mountain, and it's relaxing. Do you think like you're supposed to say like Good morning? Because like it's Good morning. It's like one word. Well, no, like the no, like it's like it's like. It's like the title is actually just the title is just good morning, but then they're telling you how to say it. Restrained. Oh, like, like good morning. Yeah, the title's like good morning. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gave attending me an ice cream point. I give it a point. Next is Metropolis Flow. I said it's kind of ugly. Uh, I said this all sounds the same. It's a few repeated trysts again and again. I dislike the guitar interludes on the quiet moments. I hated this song, actually, to be perfectly honest. Well, I bet I was in a rock. This is where I'm out of living in between dimensions. Somehow I got to a rocket ship and I'm going to an alien planet. Does that mean you gave it a point? Yeah, I gave it a point. You're wrong. I love this album. Next is Deriving it. Deriving? Is that what you said? What the heck? Is that how you pronounce it? Deriving a distance? I would think so. Deriving, yeah, deriving a distance. A distance. Yeah. Uh, this just reminded me of Kevin Fraker. Uh, derivatives. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> uh, KevinFraker.com uh, I said I gave it a point because I could tell this was a well thought out piece. Like I could tell it was intentional. So I did give it a point. Uh, but it was it was close to no point because uh, it, it just, it's all from here on it all, every song sounds like this. So this is like the granddaddy point. And this is the song that you could hear in every other song with just a little mutations. And by mutations, I mean tiny mutations on the cellular level. Otherwise, it all sounds exactly the same. Mitosis. I bet I'm still on the ship. I give it a point. Next is <laughs> still on the ship going to an alien planet. Next is Borderline Bordello. Isn't a bordello something about hoes and pimps? I don't know. What's a bordello? I don't know. That's Siri. Siri, what is a bordello? Let me think about that. Here's some information. A building where prostitutes are available. A building where prostitutes are available. So, Good Morning Restrained loves being borderline prostitute. I don't agree with that. No point. I Aww. said that this song is just more of the same. All of this sounds like everything else. And I also wrote Boo Train Siren Sounding Thing. I put, I'm in a carnival of souls, it's kind of like the corn festival, but everybody's dead. It's, a, it's, a, it's like the corn festival. Yeah, I always used to go to the corn festival to get Pokemon cards. But at this corn festival, everyone's dead. And I'm, I'm, all, I'm currently You all mean the, to tell me you went to the corn festival to get fucking Pokemon cards yeah, and have some fucking sweet corn? I was nine years old. Did you get corn biscuits at least? Nope, I just got did Pokemon you get, cards. Did you get corn lemonade? Pokemon cards. Did you get fried corn, sweet corn... French nope. fries, ain't got no corn. corn. Just uh, got Pokemon did you get cards. Cream corn, buttered corn, uh, cinnamon corn, garlic nope. corn. I didn't get any of it. Well, then you Just ain't. Got Pokemon you ain't. I was you, nine years old. I used you to ain't. Li you you I'm ain't living old. until you you tasted my fucking granddaddy's fucking cream corn biscuits. That's the truth. Let's let's move on though. <laughs> I hated borderline bordello. No point. I loved it. One point. Uh, so long uh, is the next song I put exactly. Because it is so long. <laughs> uh, it's another boring repetition of everything we've already heard with one new sound. Uh, and that's... I, I get that it's intentional. I wrote like a big old paragraph up here. I was like, I, I understand. Like, I like these songs. But it's it's not like it's... I, I It's intentional, I get that. And it doesn't... It doesn't sound uninspired, but it's boring to listen to after a while. Because you're like, okay, I've already heard this. But then like... Is imagine imagine if you sang row 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 your boat, but every time you just added like the sound of a child screaming, and then that's so it's row 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 your boat, row row your boat with a child screaming, row 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 your boat with a child screaming and two niggers having sex. So it's like you just add like one element, but it's still row 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 your motherfucking boat. No point. Oh. Okay. Well, that's ripping into one of my one of my liked albums. Okay. I'm on a beach enjoying my time watching the boys. Putting on my music while watching the boys. No point. Point. Next is Valiant Visions Dawn. 
I said, I know this is supposed to be good, but it's not. No point. <laughs> I hate you. Aww. <laughs> I said, at this point, I meet a businessman who offers me a deal for immortality. And as do you, you accept? See, yeah, oh. I do accept. <laughs> uh, no point. I hear the point. Also, because it reminded me of Don Myers. Why? Don is oh. in the title. Oh. Uh, next is Dollhouse Decoration. I said this album is boring as fuck at this point. It was like, now, it, this could be because it was like 2 in the morning and I was tired when I was listening to this. Like, I wanted to fall asleep. But this album has like a somber, mellow feel to it. So maybe it was doing its job. Uh, but, uh, number 10, just another long track with the same old, same old. No point. For number 10, I put the deal for immortality does not go well. I don't know why it doesn't go well. That's yeah. all I put. And, uh, I did not give it a point. Because at this point, the story is not going well. Yeah. Uh, but it's just because the story in my head isn't going well. Like, <laughs> I don't like these songs. Next is Hotelus Eviction. I wrote in all caps, screaming, pleading, it's all the same. And then I added an extra note that said, it's all the fucking same, it's all alike. Because it all this is just is like, like me with 24 karat gold, because I'm like, it yeah. all sounds the same. It's just ding ding, ding ding, ding ding, boom boom. That's just what it all sounds like. And I get, and I, like, I know it's good, like, I know it's good music, I know it's not... There's musical value to it, it's not yeah. the same for, like... Right, it's, it's just, four, four it all feels years. and sounds the same, and I was just like, this is just boring. Yeah, I thought the last time, I thought like the last two songs were boring too and I did not give it a point. I also died. Oh. <laughs> I also died. In the last song I died, so just say it. AJ gave Good Morning Restrained by Magna Carta Cartel 9 out of 11 because he's a terrorist and I gave it 4 out of 11 because I, I, I want the 411, I want the deets, I need the information. <laughs> Which is a... Uh, which is a 13 out of 22, which is a 59%. Not too bad. Yeah, we can live Not with that. Not too it's good. It's a green light. Yeah. That's a passing grade. Give me the green light. Give me just one night. I'm ready to go right now. John Legend is from where we're from. Springfield, Ohio. John Legend comes here sometimes and he does not tip waitresses. But he did win an Oscar and he gave it to his dad and it's in Springfield, Ohio. There's an Oscar in Springfield, Ohio. Really? Do you want to steal it? <laughs>